how to use conditional formatting in Google Sheets to highlight the entire row or to highlight cells individually based on a criteria. So basically, whenever I change here this number, that is my criteria, my condition, all the rows that match with that number or all the individual cells that match with this number right here is going to be automatically highlighted for me. And to do it, it's pretty much simple. The first thing that we can start with is selecting the range where you want to apply this conditional formatting. But here, let's start with, let's say, I, of course, can highlight the entire row or also specific cells that match with my condition. But here, I'm going to start with highlighting just cells individually, and then we can move on to highlight the entire row, okay? But let me just first select here just the, the values that corresponds to the range that I want to use in the conditional formatting like this. So all my last column. And by the way, I have here a sales report, okay? Just a sample. You don't need to use this exactly spreadsheet that I'm using here. You can use your own spreadsheet. What's important here is to understand this is step by step, okay? So I just select the last row and let me click here now in format, conditional formatting. And here to the right, I have a lot of different rules and settings to change in order to make sure my highlight is going to work the way I want. So let's say the apply to range is going to be this range right here. That is the range where I have all the values. And then format rules. This is maybe the most important thing because this is what is going to make the highlight works. Uh, it's not empty. No, I'm going to change this rule. So let's say I want to highlight everything that is greater than or greater than or equal to, let's say, 3000. One, two, three, four. Okay, let me click in, in a blank space here. All the numbers that is greater than 3000 or equal to 3000 are being highlighted for me. And of course, if I change here the, the criteria, so let's say instead of using a number itself, I want to make it a dynamic because I don't want you all the time that I need to change the highlight, open the conditional formatting tab, and then change the value. I just want to use the cell that I have here because it's easier, you know? I just change the value right here, and the conditional formatting is going to be applied for all those new numbers. So, equal sign, and then I can select the cell I2, okay? And here is something important just to make sure we can lock the reference. That is, I'm going to append here the dollar sign before the letter and before the number because that way I make sure this range that I'm using, cell I2, always going to be in this range. It's not going to move down. Or in other words, I'm going to apply this cell right here to all the range that I have to cell E2, E3, E4, E5, and on and on. Let me click anywhere out here. And yeah, that's it. So now whenever I change here this value, let's say 1500, enter. Okay, so more numbers now are added to my highlight. Let's change again, 4500, enter. Okay, just one number right here and one down below here. And that's it. So this is the first way that we can create a conditional formatting in Excel. Just highlight cells individually. But if you want to, let's say, highlight the entire row, you can change the range. Uh, my range here is using only the column E. But if you want to apply the conditional format to the column A, B, C, D, and E, or for the entire data set, you can do it. So let me change here, apply to the cell starting the A2 up to the E15. Okay, let me click out and let's see if it's working. Uh, it's not working that well because as you can see, now because my range is a larger range, all the numbers basically that is greater than 4500 are being highlighted with this greenish color and there is a problem because the date is a number the order id is a number the quantity is a number and the total is a number but i i don't want to highlight everything of course i want to highlight the entire row but i want to have as criteria the total so if my criteria let's say is 3000 when i sold 1400 I don't want to highlight this row here. So how can I highlight an entire row here in Google Sheets using as criteria just the total column? How can I do it? We need to, we're gonna need to change the formula, the rule. So instead of using greater than or equal to a formula that uh, Google Sheet gives to you here, you, you're gonna need to customize your own formula. Custom formula is click here and just here in this blank bar. Let me read it off everything. And my formula is going to be equal sign. And I'm going to select this first cell right here. E2. E2 is greater than my value that I have here. I2. 
to like this. If you want to use greater than or equal to, you can append to the greater than the equal sign. And if you want to use less than, you can use the less than sign. And if you want to use less than or equal to, you can append the equal sign to the less symbol, okay? But here, I'm going to stick with greater than or equal to, let's say. And now, after we create here this formula, it's not done yet because we're going to need to lock the reference uh, for the same reasons that I, I explained before. So, basically here, my range that is going to be E2, uh, my criteria is only going to be applied to the column E, okay? And uh, it doesn't matter if uh, it's E2, E3, E4, it's, it's, it's need to move now, okay? The only thing important here is the, the column needs to be the column E. It needs to be fixed in this column. That way, I'm going to need to use the dollar sign to fix and to lock the reference just in the column E. Not, not in the row, but just, just in the columns. Before here, the letter E, I'm going to use the dollar sign. And that's it. Now, my criteria, 4500, I'm going to fix everything. So, dollar sign before the letter, dollar sign before the number. And yeah, that's it. So, as you guys can see here, now it's working properly. Whenever I have a row that match, or in other words, whenever I have here a value in the total column that match with the value that I have here, all the row, the entire row is going to be automatically highlighted for me. And of course, I can change also the color. So let's say you don't want to use green, you can use another color. And you can also customize your own colors. I'm going to stick here with, let's say, this light green color. And I'm going to click here, done. I'm going to close this panel. And yeah, that's it. So I done. Let me change the number and see if it, everything here is working properly. 2500, enter. And yeah, that's it. So this is how we can highlight entire rows in Google Sheets whenever the criteria is met or highlight just cells individually. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.